Well, thanks for watching this video. This is going to be one of our first installments of our weekly newsletter that we're going to be publishing. Um, basically, you can go to our website, sign up for the newsletter, and we'll send it to you. We'll be covering, you know, tech videos, uh, new combinations, just a little bit of everything. Uh, we'll do some car side stuff but, uh, and some engine stuff. So this will be the first one here. And what we got going here is got a 572 Hemi. Uh, it's got two four barrel out of Brock's, as you can see. It's our standard 700 horsepower combination. It's got a Madman manifold on it and everything. So uh, we're going to switch out to the Edelbrox new dual four manifold and run it carbureted. See what that produces. And then we're going to convert it over to dual twin Holly throttle bodies EFI system and uh, see how that performs. So uh, basically, we'll, as we proceed here, we'll give you updates, let you know how it goes. So there again, go to our website, sign up to the newsletter, and uh, each week we'll be giving you something new to read about. And to also, if there's something you're interested in that you'd like us to research for you, drop us an email on that too. Greatly appreciate it. Okay, we've baselined our Hemi here. This is a result with the two Edelbrock 2x4 carburetors. As you can see, it makes uh, 662 foot pounds of torque, right around 5,000, 4,900 peaks torque there. Uh, peaks horsepower at uh, 708 at 6,200. So now we're going to go ahead and switch to the Holly twin throttle bodies, and we'll let you know how that goes. Well, we're finished with our testing on this Hemi here. And as we stated in the beginning of our little video here, we were going to run the uh, two Edelbrock carburetors with the Modman manifold, switch over to the Edelbrock manifold, and run the Edelbrock carburetors. Well, we had to scrap that. Basically, we couldn't with the fuel rails and stuff, carburetor was in collision with so we couldn't run that unfortunately it would have been interesting just to back to back basically on the manifold would have been would have been helpful so uh, we converted it as you can see here to the holly efi dual throttle bodies a couple little notes uh that you know in case you're doing this thing here a few little things we had to do is uh basically the front iac motor as you can see right here take it off make a nice little plate also you have to go down in here and you can tap tap it out for a pipe plug otherwise you're going to have a big old vacuum leak there and uh, as you can see here get a close-up shot and make a little throttle heim joint connecting it front and rear and we run those one to one and you definitely want to do that so if uh if you're going to attempt this project on your hemi give us a call we can we can build that stuff for you Basically, we ran it in here, and we'll show you our test results of, this is a comparison graph, not graph, but sheet. You can tell the difference here. So we picked up eh, about 19 foot-pounds of torque, there's 18 horsepower, and where you see the no reference, that's uh, ran a little higher, it, de it made uh, 728 peak power at 6700 uh, where peak power was I think 706 on the carburetors at 6300 so it carried the power a lot longer uh, obviously that could be either due to manifold 
uh, and definitely the throttle bodies. I think actually those were 800 CFM uh, carburetors. These are 1,000 CFM throttle bodies, so uh, naturally it carried the power on better. So, so thanks for watching. Uh, our next newsletter will probably be coming out next week, and uh, it will basically be on how to set your choke up in your low vac high horsepower crate engine to where it'll start up decent on a cold morning. Some people seem to have some great difficulties there, so we'll kind of do a little video on our car side to explain all that.